Now for the ischemic compression technique, which is the more common, the more oft used, the one that we're more acquainted with, we again we can use our elbow or our thumbs, our thumbs being reinforced, our knuckles, or again the nobble, the pointy end of the nobble, which is quite nice. What we're looking for when we find the trigger point, we will compress it for up to 30, sometimes 60, other people have done minute to minutes. Um, I usually find after about 60 seconds, the patient is saying, oh yeah, that's, that's the spot when I start pressing on it. So that's the point, oh yeah, how did you find that? Oh, you know where you're putting your finger, that is exactly where it, it's aching, that's the pain I've got. Then as I'm pushing, sometimes I'll just release off a little bit and then I'll go back in again. And overall I may be pushing for 30 to thirty seconds to, to a minute. And I'll kind of feel that melting away. Now in a quadratus lumborum we've got a couple of trigger points. So maybe I will address the one that's more sensitive at first and then move on to the lower ones, vice versa. It just depends on, on, on the patient. Uh, as I said, and afterwards I will often I put a bit of heat, introduce some heating to the area. And, um, and then maybe even do the sort of neural dynamic glides again. So they're the ischemic compression technique. Again, we'll just go over it. We can take the nobble. We can find the trigger point. We find the center. The patient will jump. We'll say, yes, that's the spot. I will apply the pressure and hold it there 20, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, depending. Gradually expecting to feel the sort of trigger point to kind of melt away, which it does. And then I'll relax off, just retest. And the patient will tell me, how they're feeling and if I need to I will do it again. So that's the ischemic compression technique.